They've been talked about here for decades, but now red light cameras are coming to Oahu to help catch people who break the law. So where will they be installed? Kimberly Speakman found out in a story that's new at 9. It's part of a measure passed last year that would allow the state to create a pilot program on Oahu to test out red light cameras. And lawmakers say downtown Honolulu is one of the best places to start. Some of the intersections in these areas are the worst in the state in terms of traffic accidents and fatalities. Fatalities. Representative Scott Psyche introduced the bill. He says there's a lot of cars that drive through the area, creating traffic congestion and more people running red lights. There's also worry for pedestrians. When you're trying to beat a red light, you know, you can be going 25, 30 miles an hour making that turn. And uh, I've seen a lot of pedestrians have to either scurry out of the way or, or wait for the car that's turning illegally. The cameras will be installed at 10 sites around downtown Honolulu. When a driver runs a red light, the cameras will take a snapshot. A citation will then be sent to the registered owner of the vehicle. I think the main things were to make sure that they're placed in the right and the appropriate uh, locations, appropriate intersections, and then to make sure that they are accurate in terms of what they, what they record. But both lawmakers say they're hopeful it'll make a difference in the area, making drivers think twice before a red light. The data from all over the country and all over the world is that people will, will stop running red lights and stop turning on red when they're not supposed to uh, when they get fined for it. And people don't like it, but it, it, there's no question that it works. The DOT says the selection board is currently reviewing the proposals for the red light cameras. And once a decision is made, they'll reveal the locations of where they'll be installed. We'll follow up and let you know what happens. Kimberly Speakman, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.